Hi guys! Happy birthday, Sophie! Today we are going to read Use Your Words, Sophie. <coughs> Sophie's mama brought a small bundle back from the hospital. In it was a brand new pink-nosed baby. Her name will be Ashley, said Sophie's mama. Sophie's daddy clattered in the front door <clears throat> with the changing table, the bassinet, the stroller, and the bathtub. Sophie, he said, say hello to your new sister, Amber. We decided on Ashley, said Mama. Amber, said Daddy. Sophie said hello to her new sister in jellyfish language. You see the words coming out of her mouth there? She says, Java Baba. Use your words, please, Sophie, said Mama. It's time for Ashley Amber's lunch. Sophie told her sister how to use the big girl cup. <laughs> use your words, please, Sophie, said Sophie's daddy. Ashley Amber was swaddled up for her nap in her bassinet. She smiled sweetly. Nap time for Sophie, too, said Sophie's mama. Sophie doesn't look too thrilled about that, does she? <clears throat> but this was one of the, Sophie's... This was day one of Sophie's being too old for naps. No, 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 growled Sophie in hyena language. Grumbles. Use your words, please, Sophie, said Sophie's daddy. Sophie's daddy took Sophie into her big girl bed. He put her sparkly iguana on the pillow next to Sophie. Rest time, darling girl, said Sophie's daddy. Sophie sang the Baboon National Anthem in her bed as loud as she could possibly sing. In the next room, Ashley Amber woke up. Look at that! She yelled so loud that Sophie had to put on her space helmet. Daddy had to call Granny. Granny said she'd come over. Sophie said hello to Granny in space language. Zaboom. Use your words, please, darling girl, said Sophie's mama. Granny said hello, Sophie, in Martian. Now what's this baby's name? Granny asked. It's going to be Samantha Marie, said Sophie's mama. They can't make up their minds. Daddy did not like the name Sam Sof Samantha Marie. He consulted his name book. Meet Symphony Pearl, said Sophie's daddy. First, said Granny, let's see if we can quiet her down. Mama tried feeding Samantha Marie's Symphony Pearl, but she wasn't hungry. Daddy changed Samantha Marie's Symphony Pearl, but she didn't want to be changed. She howled like the queen of the howler monkeys. But Granny couldn't find the off switch for the baby's... Even Granny couldn't find the off switch for the baby siren. Then Sophie took off her space helmet and used her words. Give her to me, please, said Sophie. Please. Oh, we can't do that, said Sophie's mama and daddy. Good idea, said Granny. Granny gave Samantha Marie Symphony Pearl to Sophie. Sophie used her words again as she sang to the baby. No one could hear Sophie's words except her new baby sister. Suddenly, the room was quiet. What did you say? said Mama. What did you sing? asked Sophie. Asked Daddy. Easy, said Sophie. She wants to be called June, Jane. So I sang to her, Jane, Jane, don't be a pain. Now she's happy.
Now she's Jane, said Granny. I hope you enjoyed it. Bye-bye.